Good morning everybody, welcome to Predator Pre Online. I'm Garth, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, this episode I'm just going to show you uh, the absolute worst part of breeding spiders, so the tedium that comes with making pots. This is without a doubt my worst uh, part of the hobby, which I hate. Uh, it's got to be done though, and obviously you want your spiderlings to have the best kind of care before they get shipped off to somewhere else. So um, these pots, I'm doing top ventilation, I'm doing side in, uh, ventilation so that they can be stacked uh, fully. Uh, this time lapse there must have taken an hour and a half for you to get this 90 seconds of, of footage. So I always do this in the kitchen because there's good ventilation, the back door's open, and it stops my smoke alarms going off. Uh, I'd usually do the rest of it in the spider room or uh, in the bathroom. But you can see even Claire's jumping in and helping me now because it just was taking ages and ages and ages. Uh, I use a soldering iron uh, with a very thin point to it so I can get very small uh, ventilation holes, small enough that the spiderlings can't escape from. Uh, these pots are for the reduncus, so Salmopius reduncus that I'm going to be potting up. And uh, I should imagine there's about 100 pots there. So I should imagine that's enough for them. I don't think there's going to be more than 100 there. We're going to move now to the spider room shortly. And you'll see I have to sit down because obviously I've got a bad back. But this is uh, a mix and a topsoil and coir substrate. Uh, and just literally filling these up. It takes ages and I hate it. All right, everyone. So um, now is the fun bit. So you've seen the tedious bit, this is the fun bit. Now I'm down here, extreme close up, because I uh, need to uh, be close to the spiderlings to be able to uh, obviously pot them up. And they're right here in the box. I was going to do them in the bathroom like I did for the versicolor, uh, but they're not as crazy as, uh, as the versies running around the place. So I'm going to just do them in a, in a storage box in the spider room. Now, um, I'm just going to do a few on camera I don't understand I don't um, see the point in showing you it all again it's literally just the same as uh, potting up any spiderling but uh, you can see then uh, how I'm going to do it uh, you'll, I'll show you at the end of this as well um, the incubator setup someone asked the other day uh, how how I build an incubator uh, so I'll show you that as well so uh, um, let's go let's do it so this is the uh, basic kind of incubator that I make uh, I use the same kind of method, uh, it doesn't matter what pot it is, I use different, si different sizes, different shaped pots, but um, the idea is the same through all of them. So um, you get your lid, and I literally cut out the, t the inside piece of plastic, leaving the frame, the solid frame of the lid, the clippy on bit. Then I fill the bottom of it half full of, full of water. I drape muslin cloth, so you know, like cheese cloth over it. And then you can clip that in place by then using the frame of the lid. You don't need any tape, you don't need any elastic bands or anything like that. This is, this is strong enough to hold the weight of the egg sac in there. And I use the same method every single time. Uh, you'll see that a majority of them now have molted into spiderlings, but there are some still molted in there. So what I plan to do is I'm just going to do like one or two now on camera. Uh, otherwise it's a, a video of making pots would be really freaking boring um, and then I'm gonna leave them then one more day because as you can see like this one here this is molten this is in the process that one's nearly finished and uh, they're looking really really good so when <laughs> the easiest way right to get these is to set up your pots ready I always do that first and then lay them out so they're easy and they're accessible right to hand and I then just use a spidling pot where is it? So normal spidling pot and this is then a little bit more fiddly to be able to get in there look at him there, see he's coming out of his molt now and he's starting to walk about that one might not survive but I'll just, this one here looks a good one just take him, he'll run about and I'll get him to run, no I can't, I'll get him to run inside the pot. So he's inside that little pot. 
and I literally just transfer him then into his home that he's going to whoop, that he's going to stay in then. And remember lids to hand as well. It's all well and good making all the pots, but if you don't have the lids ready, you're stuffed. So that's one out of about a hundred. And you get the gist of it. So and that's how you make an, in an incubator. And that's how you transfer them in. Little tips. Look, there's loads see underneath. All these ones are ready. Him, I'm really not not happy about him. Look at him. He's struggling a little bit. But again, this happens. Uh, you get your run to the litter as in with anything. And uh, they should be all good to go. Nice one, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks for keep keep coming back to the channel. Uh, you know, you guys uh, are the reason I do this at the end of the day. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you like what I do, hit the bell button. I've always got a Patreon page and uh, that will be up in the left hand side. Click on that link if you want to support me. Um, these spiderlings are available to buy as well. Just hit me up. Um, remember the Eastern Invert Show is week Sunday. So um, get along to that one if you're in the area. That's going to be a big one. And uh, most importantly, stay safe.